to my channel. In today's video, I want to share some easy things that you can do to instantly look more put together and elegant. These are really simple tweaks that you can keep in mind as you're getting dressed and by adjusting one or two things here or there, you can really lean into that overall aesthetic and really start to harness that feeling in your outfits. So let's get started. Let's start off by going over what elegant means and how you can use that definition to really channel that throughout your outfits. So the definition of elegance, when I think of it just without looking it up, really comes down to feeling really put together. Everything looks very cohesive. There seems to be a lot of intention behind the outfit and nothing seems out of place. You can tell that there was thought put behind every single choice. And the actual definition really comes down to that as well. It really comes around being graceful and having everything come across in a very del uh, delicate, very gentle, very put together way. So you can use that as an understanding in order to get that aesthetic throughout your outfits. So my first tip when it comes to channeling that type of energy is to keep everything really fresh. And the fastest way to do that is to go for a bright cheek color or a bright lip color, or maybe both. And this is a really easy way to kind of wake everything up. And especially if you're like me, me and with the seasons changing and daylight savings, everything's feeling a little bit lagging and I'm feeling a little bit tired. And when I wake up and I look in the mirror, I feel like everything's a little bit drained. So in those moments, I like to throw on a lip color that brightens my whole face. And that can then be carried up into my cheeks and carried up into the high points. And it ties everything together and instantly brightens up my face and gives me a really nice canvas to then build my outfits around. Another thing that I like to do when I want to instantly feel more put together is to shape my brows. I like to brush them up and then fill them in a little bit. You can do this with either a designated brow pencil or you can do it with a nice neutral eyeshadow. And I think the key here is to find something a little bit lighter than you think you should. Don't go the exact color of your hair because that can feel a little bit aggressive. And instead, if you want to brighten everything up, go for something a couple shades lighter and keep it very neutral, not too warm and not too cool and then fill in the empty spaces and you instantly frame your face and allow people to see your beautiful eyes. So now when it comes to getting dressed and actually putting together your outfit, there are a few tweaks that you can make in order to really lean into that elegance and kind of elevate everything. And the first one is to swap your jeans for a pair of pants and specifically something really tailored and something that fits you really well. So when you wear jeans, that energy is instantly a little bit more casual. And when we're trying to go for elegance, we want things to feel a little bit more formal and a little bit more graceful. And pants instantly do that. And specifically something in like a beautiful gray would be a great idea. Something like a nice taupe, a tan, something a camel color, or even something in a really great blue and then a navy. Those are a little bit more unexpected than typical black. And they really give that soft feature. And when we're trying to harness that gracefulness and that elegance, Going for those softer shades is a really nice way to do that. Another really easy swap you can make in order to allow your outfits to feel more elegant and look a little bit more put together and like you really put thought into them is to exchange your sneakers for a pair of really cute flats or a kitten heel. Something like a nice structured shoe instantly makes everything feel more intentional and it looks like you put a lot of thought into your whole outfit when really all you did was exchange your shoes from one pair to another. And even if you're choosing a pair of really nice sneakers. There's something inherently more casual about that feeling. And so by going for something with some structure and specifically something like a ballet flat or a kitten heel, those automatically look a little bit dressier. And the structure of those and the shape is incredibly elegant and very, very graceful. Such an easy swap and I think an essential to have in your closet if this is the type of dressing you love. Another thing you can do is choose a piece of clothing that has that elegance built into it. So so specifically here, I want to call out a sweater set. So sweater sets are really easy to find and they're very classic. You can find vintage ones and current ones. And it's such an easy way to kind of harness that elegance and that gracefulness. But what I want to talk about here specifically is going for one that's a little bit more modern. So something with maybe a tank rather than the traditional little sleeveless sweater underneath. That is such an easy way to kind of build in that elegance, but also keep things feeling very current. 
you still feel modern and you're able to more easily kind of meld that with a modern closet. So going for something like that, a great pair of jeans and then those cute ballet flats, it's that perfect balance. You get that elegance, but it doesn't feel stuffy and it's something that I really love. So I've got a couple in my closet and I like reaching for those when I really want that undercurrent to my outfit, but I still want something that feels like I'm living right now. It's trendy enough and still classic enough and it hits that perfect sweet spot. Another really easy thing you can do and one of my personal favorite things is to push up your sleeves a little bit to show your wrists. This is such a delicate part on your body and by revealing that you instantly bring in that gracefulness and it's such an easy tweak. You can be wearing a regular shirt or a sweater. Just push things up ever so slightly. It makes it a little bit more billowy. You get this soft shape up by your arm here and then it reveals that delicate wrist area and the perfect area to then add bracelets and little jewelry. So definitely probably the easiest thing you can do when getting dressed and I think it makes such a big difference. Even when I'm filming a video, I'll put my outfit on and then I'll check everything in the monitor and as soon as I lift up my wrists or my sleeves a little bit and show my wrists, everything automatically feels better. It helps bring you into focus and allows you to feel like you've got some breathing room in your outfit but there's still the intention behind how you've styled. It. Another thing you can do to instantly look more elegant is to match your shoes to your belt to your bag. This is something that I really like doing when I instantly want to bring my outfit together. It's one of the oldest recommendations or dressing rules and I think it's a classic for a reason because it quite literally ties everything together. So if you like to wear pants with no belt like I do a lot, it kind of dresses it down a little bit. Matching your bag to your shoes will still give that same effect. And then also here, much like the updated sweater set, you can go for colors that are a little bit more unexpected in order to keep it current. So one of my favorite ways to do this is with green. And anytime I wear them together, it allows me to really lean into that classic dressing and really channel that energy, but do so in a way that feels very customized. Green is such a big part of my personal color palette. So by building that out, it shows intentionality in my style. And that's such a great way to get dressed and that type of intentionality, especially when you follow that through as you're planning out your closet. It, that will give you a foundation that you can effortlessly mix and match and never have to think too hard in order to look really put together. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention really quickly really leans into harnessing the gracefulness that's found in elegant dressing. So when we think of gracefulness, we think of light colors, soft colors, delicacy, and those are really easy to harness in your outfits by choosing those colors in your color palette. So when you look at your overall color palette, every color kind of generates a different emotion and a different sensation when we look at it. And the darker colors have a tendency to feel a little bit more serious and a little bit more somber, and even sometimes a little bit austere. So when we want the opposite and we want things that feel light and bright, things that feel like they could float away on a cloud, going for the lighter colors is such an easy way to do that. And when you build out your color palette with that type of thinking in mind, you allow yourself to have a couple things in different bottoms and tops that you you can easily mix and match and by putting them together you generate that feeling instantaneously so going for a light sweater and a pair of light pants like I've done today that softens the whole palette and keeps it very very delicate and in turn very elegant it's one of my personal favorite things to keep in mind when getting dressed because black or navy those are very easy but anytime I want to feel a little bit softer I go for the lighter colors I will literally look at my color my closet and it's separated by color and I just stick to the light colors and pick outfits based on that and it works every time. So I hope that these tips are helpful for you and especially as you're trying to maybe channel this elegance in your outfits, doing one or two of these tweaks can make a really big difference and I do at least one of these every single time that I get dressed and they always work. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.